What's going on guys? We're back with another guide today. Today we're going to be going for a more PvP focused build. In this one, I'm going to go ahead and get our character started for us really quick. And we're going to pick our tattoo style. Uh, we like the, the first one for now. Type, we're going to go with three. I'm super excited uh, to have the new male bodies uh, and you know features coming in. It's going to be fantastic. Um, we're going, oh man, we got seven? Whoa. That's new. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right, we're going to go ahead with that. And looks good. Looks good. Um, now, I want to go ahead and do advanced rifles right off the get-go. Because, guys, this helps you so much with being able to stay more steady with your aim. Uh, rifles are the meta of the game. You definitely want to, you know, get, a, get yourself into a bunker as soon as possible so that you can get access to some rifles. Uh, and also sell items at the traders, the vendors, and things like that. So that you can get magazines, attachments, all of that. Because let me tell you something, handgun versus rifles, there's just no comparison. Rifles wins every time almost. Unless you jump the person, of course. Uh, you know, but archery is a good skill to have as well. But it's really more for PvE related, you know, deal dealing with the, the puppets or zombies. And, you know, you can use archery in a PvP scenario where you're shooting them in the legs. Uh, to get them limping and then go for the rifle and shoot them or the handgun and shoot them But realistically if you're gonna go that route You might as well just shoot them in the legs with your guns and shoot them You know in the head or you know get, get some body shots in once they're looking limping and weak So go ahead and go for the rifles. I'm telling you it's the best way for currently. I'm very excited to see uh, when the heavy weapons comes into play here um, I would love to have like a mini gun or something like that Uh, that'd be pretty badass. So uh, we're gonna go with constitution. We're leaving everything again at three for now um, We're gonna go with advanced running because I want to be as fast as humanly possible uh, Endurance is you know, I'm not too worried about endurance a lot of people complain about that They don't like having to wait for their stamina to recover and things like that, but uh, or the food mechanic in the game But realistically, it's not that bad if you get a good balance of meat and carbohydrates uh, for the food satiation and then also your endurance is going to level up faster uh, from my experience anyway if you have a higher running skill everything kind of starts to level faster uh, your dexterity will level faster basically any skill that's going to depend on your character moving you'll be benefiting from having a faster uh, running character so we're going to go with that uh, dexterity skills now I'm not really going to do base rating, so as a soloist anyway, at least not for now. Um, but I do want to be able to pick locks and things like that, which with the regular locks in the game, it's really not that big a deal, surprisingly, uh, to have no skill uh, with lock picking. If you're new to the game, you may want to take advanced thievery um, to just get the hang of it. But realistically, if you played a little while, you don't really need it. Uh, and you'll get good at it over time as you pick locks. Um, demolition is cool for building bombs, things like that. Uh, you can make explosive arrows if you take at least a basic uh, demolition skill, which you can actually, you can, you know, all these skills guys can be leveled up uh, pretty much. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm not really going to do anything with these. I do want to be as stealthy as possible. So I'm going to go with advanced stealth. That's what I want to do. Helps you be quieter We're dealing with puppets, dealing with mechs, and dealing with players. And so when you have more gear on, as you have more stuff in your bag, you're going to be way louder. So that's, you know, something we can mitigate by having an advanced stealth. And uh, this helps you be more ninja sneaky like all around. Uh, and also for the PvP aspect of things. We're gonna go with a advanced awareness. That's gonna help us be able to detect players easier um, so that you can you know, hear them better when you're in focus mode. And you could of course go sniping if you wanna go sniping. That helps with the range finder ability so that you can you know, zero your scope to the right uh, you know, specification for windage and all that. But really, you can level this up with using rifles in the game with a scope magnification of at least ACOG or greater. So it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, awareness, you will level up too automatically by having a bunch of different items in your vicinity and taking those items, putting them into your inventory as you loot. This will level awareness, but 
for the PvP sake of things, I really do want to have advanced right away. It will also highlight items with like a blue highlight uh, or you know light colored highlight for you uh, at a distance sometimes, so you can kind of get that information a little quicker that hey there's an item over there because you can see it a little bit better uh also there's a theory out there that it helps with your luck uh in getting certain items or more you know rare items i can't really confirm or deny that but i do know that it definitely will help you uh with multiple different things so uh medical skill would be a good thing to go with as well by the way but realistically from my experience playing this guy's if you get shot up by a player, uh, if you're ambushed, you're not gonna. It's not gonna matter if you have advanced medical or no medical, because you're gonna be dead. Uh, if you have the luxury uh, of you know banding, being able to bandage up because you were able to gun them down, it, it basically helps you. If you have a higher medical skill, you'll use less rags or bandages, which could benefit you greatly. It also helps when you're dealing with puppets and mechs if you get cut up by them or shot up by them. You can help with that, you know, not having to have as many rags on your character, which, you know, does make your inventory a little bit more free for you to put stuff you actually want in it. But realistically, I'm good without it, and I think you will be as well. If you want to find cars, guys, and build a car out for yourself, you'll want at least medium engineering skill, which you can grind by doing certain crafting blueprints so that you can actually put car parts on the vehicles uh, and fix the cars up so that you can drive them but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna go on foot and that's what we're gonna do so create uh so advanced rifles recap advanced running advanced stealth advanced awareness let's go all right so first things first when you get in you want to open your map see where you are we're in a3 so that is an interesting spot to be right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see what we can do over here. I'm going to go ahead and try to position myself that direction going uh, that away. Now, we do not have a compass marker, so you're going to have to kind of fiddle fart your way around knowing what direction you're in and all that good stuff. But it's not too big a deal. Uh, we've been playing it for a bit, so we kind of can figure it out. There is a train railroad track right there. Lead somewhere. I hear the train are coming. It's rolling around the bend. But that train keeps rolling on down to San Antonio. Now, I will tell you this. I play on PvP servers, so that's what this is. This is a PvP server, uh, and this one is a little higher loot than i usually play i usually play on official uh this one is a uh, us server that is high loot so we will be probably seeing uh like what i said higher loot and if i can say loot one more time that'd be great so loot anyway we're gonna go ahead and see where we're at and the first thing you want to do is orientate yourself so press the map key and kind of see where your little marker is going it appears we're going south. Now, usually what I like to do when I get started is I want to make an ax or something. Uh, and this one, I'm not really in the mood to do that. So I'm going to actually make a spear. But first things first, we need to find a pair of uh, some rocks. If I can do that, that'd be fantastic. High loot and no rocks, apparently, you know, no rocks. There's rocks randomly on the ground there. So go ahead and spin around if you need to get those rocks to be searchable again. We're going to do two stones, click them together to make a stone knife. And this is a bank card. I'm going to go ahead and destroy that. I always destroy mine when I first get in. That way somebody cannot uh, get access to my funds once I start making some money. And I'm gonna go ahead and destroy it. And as you can see over in the corner there, there is a town that we're gonna be heading to, which will be giving us some loot opportunities. And once you make a stone knife, go ahead and chop a, br a bush down and make yourself a spear at the minimum. This one is more of a uh, aggressive kind of play style this time. I'm not gonna really bother crafting a bunch of stuff. Um, I say that, but you know, things change as you know, uh, and by the way, if you'd like to see guides 
uh, like this. PvP guides, PvE guides, any of that stuff. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you can see the next latest and greatest video. And uh, we'll give you guys some great tips along the way. Uh, I really try to help the beginners out and scum and see how we can give you guys an, an incredibly fun uh, experience and also informative experience. That way that you can enjoy uh, this great game. And in my opinion, this is the best survival game out there right now. Uh, and so I want you to get some tips out of it. Now, I said we were going to go north, but we decided to go this way, south. Uh, and we're actually going to go ahead and see what's in this town here. I'm going to check upstairs. And there is a rebar cutter you can use for crafting. Uh, oh, and we got some clothing. There is a... What is it? Bamboo hat from the new Chinese New Year update very cool there's puppets right there i'm gonna run through here see what we can find anything laying around and this again this is supposed to be high loot uh there's some metal arrows some boots let's go ahead and take those and i could use those metal arrows we're gonna go ahead and drag those out and then I want to go ahead and make a quick satchel. So we'll need a little bit of rope. And we can make that rope out of some tr some uh, rags that we're going to cut up really quick. Because I could use that. Uh, the metal arrows are very good for, you know, they're very high damage. Cut up your shirt. And we're going to cut our socks. And now there's a new mechanic called hand abrasions in the game, which is... Kind of annoying, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Because now we're getting hand abrasions every time we're crafting or doing anything with our hands. If we don't have gloves. So they're definitely gonna make you wanna wear gloves, as you can see there. That's definitely a new mechanic. So we're gonna cut these uh, rags into strips. Five strips makes a rope. Once I do that, uh, we'll be able to have a satchel that we can carry a couple things in. We can grab these arrows. Uh, and get on the road here. Now this hand abrasions is affecting our health. It's lowering our health HP points by 1.3. Um, we are already down to 98% health because of it. So they have definitely just implemented that uh, within, I would assume the last week or two. So that is something you will want to know so that you can start wearing gloves or finding gloves instead of discarding them. Definitely want to do that as soon as possible. Also, if you're pushing a car, uh, you'll get damage as well. So rope, one, two, three. And we're going to do click on the knife, courier backpack. After about an eternity, you will have crafted a courier backpack. So now we can take those arrows, stick them in there. Uh, and then we're going to obviously need a bow. So we'll need some more rope and a long stick. So I will take this rag with me. There was a puppet out there. Um, we're going to kill that puppet and grab his clothes. Oh, and look at that. We got a shotty, shotty shotgun. Very nice. And that will be dope if we can get some shotgun shells. It'll be very handy. And I can hear the old... Oh, there's a kilt. So I'm going to take this in my hands. Can I cut the kilt? The kilt doesn't make... What? The kilt, we're going to cut into rags. Okay, now we've got... Some more rags, we're gonna make trips. Now there is a mechanic I wanna try, um, which is the rifle bash. So I know there's a puppet out here. And we're gonna hit the middle mouse button and that will hopefully, you know, rifle bash this guy. As you can see, we're hitting him, but this is a sawn off, so there's really no stock that's hitting him 
but uh, that worked pretty good. So if you do find a gun, you know, you could definitely, there we go. We got some gloves. So we're going to wear them suckers and I'm going to take these pants and this jacket. Um, we're going to put it on. And if we can get some thread, we can fix these pants and these jackets up here. Now, like I was saying is if you don't have a melee weapon, but you find a, like a rifle, um, you can actually beat the ass with it. You know what I mean? So that's pretty dope. Am I right now? I want to go up top. We already went in here in the bottom. These are upper levels here. See anything else? What the hell? Pantyhose. Those are new. Got a saw so we can use that. Uh, to help us with our crafting. So I'm going to grab that. Much more efficient than a little stone knife. So that's good. And, you know, I, I could be probably looting every single container here. More, you know, or less. But I want to hurry up and get to where I want to go. So we can loot up in a little better location. But... These are a couple little things you can do when you start out. Make yourself a quick, uh, oh, there's a toolbox. That'd be useful, but we don't need it right now. And there might be guns in the barn. Um, sometimes they are, can be guns there. Oh, industrial gardening hoe. Very nice. Now, if you had a backpack, you could craft, uh, you know, some, what is this up here? Oh, okay. Looks like weed repellent. Now, we are over here. I'm going to try to go to this coastal town here and see what we can find. Okay, so this is good right here. We need to make a bow. We're going to get this wire. And then I'm going to chop a tree branch really quick. So we can make ourselves a nice little bow. Now, our hand abrasions are, are getting to the stabilization area here which is nice. Go to your crafting menu, click on 35 pound bow, and then you'll be able to make a better quality bow. It will give you better accuracy and distance. I'm going to ditch this. I don't want this anymore. And my guy is hot apparently. Now, if you have any abrasions or what, anything like that, or you're in stabilization, if you sprint, you're going to start losing that that's that healing it's gonna start going back the other direction usually uh, for some reason this is not but if you are damaged anywhere other than your hands if you were sprinting uh, you actually would be decreasing it and it would go back to a state of bleed so that's no fun so you would what you would want to do is if you got hurt anywhere else like your feet or something uh, or your torso or anywhere You'd want to jog like this, and you can change your running speed with the scroll wheel. Now, what I was trying to say earlier is if you find a rifle of some kind, you can use that to melee zombies with uh, instead of using like a regular melee weapon. So we are choosing to do that in this case. So you can always adapt your play style as you progress. Now let's give these arrows a shot here. One, two. Metal arrows. Pretty strong. That was a fat puppet or a heavy puppet. Grab them arrows, ladies and gentlemen. Now it looks like we're approaching what appears to be a church. Usually churches are pretty good for finding at least one good item of loot, whether that be like a Bushman uh, knife, some bow silencers or stabilizers. Good stuff like that. They also are pretty heavy traffic. And I heard something. Go into focus mode if you hear something. You can hear if there's any footsteps. As I was saying, it could be players. There's Puppet. 
Headshot him. All right, now I hope I can grab this vest off of him. That'd be super nice. A little stab proof vest will help you with your. Uh, I'm going to take these pants. It'll help you with some damage reduction, which is pretty sweet. And that arrow disappeared, which really sucks because I wanted to I'll take it back. Oh, wait. That's weird. Oh, wait a minute. Crossbow bolt. What? Okay. Random crossbow bolt. Like I said, there is loot here. My arrow has disappeared, which sucks. And what do we got here? High heel ankle boots. Well, I might wear those. No, I'm kidding. See, bow silencer. Get that. Makes your bow a little quieter, hence the name on the pull. You can equip up to two of them on your bow at one time. And that's it for that. We're going to get out of here. Sometimes there's water at the churches, but this one doesn't seem to have a water fountain. Now, uh, coastal towns are pretty nice. A lot of houses to loot, which is pretty cool. And you can also use these buildings, guys, to lock up and actually make yourself a little house, a little mini base, without even requiring um, you, know, you to really build anything. So that's pretty nice. Uh, this garage is open. And there's a workbench. You can manufacture ammo here. Oh, we got a holster. Very nice. And some scrap metal. And do pay attention to, it says cargo drop landing in certain sectors. Uh, that one says D3. We are way too far from that, but if you had a car, That'd be, you know, a lot of people like to farm the cargo drops, some heels. They sure, man, they sure got a lot of stuff for the ladies. I'll, I'll tell you that. They really do. Money. Uh, diving mask. These gloves are a little better condition than the ones I'm wearing. Quite a bit better, actually. So we're going to switch to them. And uh, needle can use for making some a lock protection I believe you can find those needles are very rare guys if uh, you know but they are also easier to find in uh, locations such as the bunker medical facilities within the bunker any kind of medical buildings and bathrooms so and oh yeah Blackhawk crossbow. Okay. Now, okay. Now I'm interested in going back for those. Yeah, I'm going back to the church to get those crossbow bolts now, guys. We are officially about to become Daryl Dixon. Okay. That's what we're doing. And another fun fact about the crossbow is that the crossbow actually is underneath the rifle tree. So if you have high rifle skill like we do, you will have better success, faster reloading times using the crossbow. So I'm going to ditch the bow. We have used the bow so many times in our lives in this game, guys. We finally are going to use a crossbow. So let's go ahead and get the crossbow bolts. Let's chamber one. Hit R. And now we're rocking and rolling. So we are now going to have Daryl Dixon's crossbow. And it's pretty sweet because you can put a sight on it. We're going to use that sucker. How about them apples? Now, once I leave the town here, your your best bet would be to go to a bunker, which I think this is a bunker in A3 over here, or this. So we may end up heading over there uh, in a moment. But I want to see if I can find some screwdrivers. Because if you want to go to a bunker, you're going to want to get screwdrivers. 
uh, so that you can get loot out of the lockers and pick the locks. And you'll find screwdrivers and boxes um, such as these. There's a car, car seat you can put in. I always like grabbing nails occasionally because you can build chests with them. And there we go. Screwdriver. Exactly what I was talking about. We don't need this anymore. We don't need your rope anymore. So now we have a screwdriver we can open two lockers with. If we find some bobby pins, we can make lock picks, and so on and so forth. So that is pretty sweet. Another little workbench here. There's a pickaxe. Um, now they're saying this is like a high loot server, but honestly, I haven't seen it being insane. I mean, I know I found a gun pretty quick, but you know, we're going to go to the police station and see what's up there. But the official servers are really not bad guys. So, you know, they're really not terrible with the loot. Um, this is again, a higher loot server. There's a soda. We're needing a little drink a drink. I'm gonna drink it all really quick. Damn you loud drinking. Holy shit. Oh, I'm still bleeding. Oh shit. Why am I bleeding still? The fuck? All right, we're gonna have to bandage. I don't know why, but it's making me do this. It's ridiculous. Maybe because we cocked the crossbow? Or we, I don't know why, I don't know. Damn it, that's annoying. All right, well, we'll find some more rags and I'll finish the bandaging process. More nails. Now I'm wondering. Yeah, man, that's kind of, that's annoying. I don't like this mechanic at all. I like the, I like the idea, but I think this is a little extreme. This is gonna get downright annoying. So devs, if you're listening, you need to chill it out with the damn mechanics on the bleeding hand thing. It's really annoying. Oh shit. Okay. Zombie, zombie, zombie. We're in the police station. Okay. Some bullets. Magazine. I can hear them. Another magazine. That's a weird noise. Hmm. Damn, I don't want to ditch these pants, but I guess I'm gonna. All these are locked. Uh, if I could find bobby pins, I could definitely unlock these. All right. I'm gonna have zombie to deal with here. Oh, there he is. Shoot him in the face. Let me shoot him in the face. Goodbye. And now we have a helmet. Let me get on the ground here. Pick up my arrow. And okay, we got a shotgun shell. Look at that shit. All right. Let's go ahead and load them babies up here. Hell yeah. Got a riot helmet. Step vest a little improved. So I'm gonna take this one off, put this one on. If I had a sewing kit, I'd grab these boots. They have storage capacity, but this is not the case here. Uh, I'm gonna ditch this hat. Grab these shoddy shells instead. Stack your nails. You can stack up to 10, I believe. Um, so there is good. And these tactical jacket would be really nice. Uh, I'm gonna ditch this and put the tactical jacket on because it's gonna have way more capacity once I heal it a little bit, once I fix it up. And I could chop him up, get a bone needle. Probably should. And I'm gonna ditch this cash, dude. It's not important.
And we didn't even saw. That was a weird thing. It didn't do it. Uh, the mechanic didn't work. Huh. Where are the bones, bro? Okay, there's a bone. Bone. Craft bone needles. And again, this is PvP server. Um, there could be players anywhere. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, bone needle. And the reason we're taking that is because in case we find some thread, we're going to repair some items. And I could just like chop this. I think what I'm going to do is... I know this is dirty, but I'm going to chop it up. And I'm going to bandage myself because it's still taking forever to heal this. And this is really annoying. So you go, to, what you do is you click on your injury. You click the rag. The higher percentage of the rag, the better it's going to heal you. So we're going to click treat. Now this is a dirty rag. So there is a chance it infects me with some kind of germs, uh, which wouldn't be good, obviously. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and treat it with a shittier rag because I don't care because we're almost at the healing. Oh, nope. See, see, look, this rag will not heal me all the way. You see that little light up area? This one will not heal me all the way, but this one will. OK, so use the one that will heal you the highest bar, the highest white bar possible. And again, if we had advanced medical, I could have used one rag, one rag uh, and it would have been just fine. Okay. Thunder. Thunder. All right, so this crossbow, I'm gonna use this shotgun as my primary now, in case we gotta handle some fools. And what is this? Antibiotics. Can't hurt to take one, we're a little injured. Can't hurt. We'll take one. And from now, there's another garage set over here, and a, and a, and there's also a grocery store. You can find there's bobby pins and there's scissors. So what I really need to do is find a way to. I'm gonna ditch the nails. Forget it for now. I'm gonna take the bobby pins. And the scissors really would be nice too. This is where you have to really prioritize your inventory. I'm not going to be doing a lock protection anytime soon. So I'm going to just ditch this for now. And, you know, damn, this sucks. This is why you need more slots, guys. You need more inventory space. The scissors is really handy for cutting up more rags, but, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just let it go. But these will give you more, uh, damn it. No, I'm going to take them. I got to take them. I got to take them somehow. Um, I'm sure I'll find another puppet. Scissors. There we go. And see guys, that's how you got to prioritize things. What is, what do you need the most? You know, there's puppets all over the game usually. So if I found thread, see, there's another one. See, there's no... All right, let's get you with this. Oh, I never cro- Damn it, I didn't cock it. I didn't cock it. All right. And that is why you need to always make sure that you cock your crossbow. Oh, shit. Oh! Run. Got him. <laughs> Nothing like a little drama, okay? And again... Make sure you cock your crossbow. <laughs> Always cock your crossbow. Sonny. Well, now we have two puppets and that dude looks like he just like chilling over there. He's like, yo, what's up? What up fam? What up fam? Yo, what up? Yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm chilling. Let's watch the game. I'm watching the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got a Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a Miller man myself, personally, but you know, to each their own. Work pants are good too. Um, but you know, again, can't I have no room. So oh well. And I'm gonna load up a new shell. Okay. 
And there's two puppets, guys. I'm still squirting blood, man. Damn. I'm almost healed. Those C1s, not too big a deal. I don't ever really bandage a C1 unless it's going to kill me, unless I'm, my health's so low. C2 is almost healed completely. Now, what I could do is I could make a quiver, and that would give me some more inventory space. But again, I would need a thread for this. Uh, can't, let me think here. All right, well, in a perfect world, if I had thread, I could cut both of these puppets up, and I could use their skin, or at least one of their skins, for a quiver. Uh, I could also use their skin for a larger backpack, um, which is... I don't actually think it's unlocked for me because I don't have a survival skill. Yeah, see, at the beginning of the game, if you take a basic survival, I would have any, I would have had the opportunity to make an improvised backpack, which would give you a pretty good amount of slots. But because we have no survival skill currently, we cannot do so. Um, so we're working on getting our first basic here. And you'll get that leveled up over time. Um, it's not a big deal, but I also have, would have the opportunity to make improvised bulletproof armor and your own holster, things like that, but we're not really going to deal with it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and leave and that's it. Now I will go up to the top here and see if there's anything laying around here and our dude is going to be hungry soon or is getting hungry. Poor guy. And again, more lockers are up here. So I could actually, there's a police shirt. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take this. And now I got an extra inventory slot, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna take this shirt with me. And I'm gonna pick these, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and pick them. I'll show you guys really quick what the lock picking's like, even with zero skill. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take a bobby pin out. We're gonna take out two. And then we're gonna go and actually, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and hit right click and hit craft lock pick. And we're gonna do it again on the other one. And what we do is you hit F and then you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna press the space bar to start and then you keep tapping F while moving the mouse in the direction to get the pick in to start picking. And you do have some time. I broke it. Okay. A little rusty. I got that next one. So, a little bit rusty on that. Hadn't done it in a bit. Took a little bit of a break. But uh, we got it on the next one. So, no big deal. And there's some flare cartridges. So, as you can see, you know, it could be where you, you could miss out on something. But... You also, I was able to get the next one super easy. So, and that could have just been me trial, you know, being a little rusty. That's it. I probably could have got both. So that's that. That's how you pick. And that's what zero lock pick skill. So if it makes you feel better that you don't have to waste your points on that. You know, that's great. Now there's a couple more garages here. I might could find more screwdrivers. And then I, there's a door for a car. If I can find more screwdrivers. What the hell? Pear seeds. Okay. And another one. See? More screwdrivers. So now we can go back and pick the rest of those. Um, or at least two more. Which is nice. So I can show you again how to get her done. And there's a toolbox. Oh, now, okay. Now this is really good. If it'll work for this vest, I hope. Will it work? Okay. Well, hold on. Let me take it in my hands. I should be able to repair this helmet. Hmm. I don't... You know what? I can't. And I think I can't because I don't have any engineering skill. If I had some engineering skill, you should be able to repair the... Um, vest or helmet here but i cannot so that's unfortunate
toolboxes can be used for a lot of things guys like you can use it to break down guns um things like that and also uh repair bulletproof vests helmets and also set your bow pull strength on the compound bow so we're gonna ditch that for now when you can't really use it for anything there's man there's quite a few garages out here there's a hard hat another wheel so there's a lot of car parts another pet of screwdrivers okay um i'm gonna ditch this shirt and I need to make a quiver, dude. I gotta do it. So, quiver is three rags, five sticks. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a quiver, a speedy quiver. Get that done and over with. So we're gonna take our scissors this, this time, and it'll automatically do it for you. And this is going to give us way more rags. Look at all those rags. And it takes for a quiver, three rags, five sticks, and a rope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a tree over here. Okay. Now this is risky, of course. Literally right next to the police station. But we do things on the risk for you guys. We're going to grab the branch. I'm gonna take it in my hands. Did I just drop my thing? Yeah, bring your saw back in here. Run back over to our garage with this stick pile. Close the door. Help protect you, give you at least an extra second to react if you need to. We're gonna put this on the ground like so. I'm gonna rotate it actually. So the sticks fall the way I want them. Cut the tree branch. And while you're doing this, guys, you know, the, just doing the, the crafting and sawing and all that stuff, it's going to start leveling up your engineering and your survival skill, uh, which is super helpful. Now, I need rope. So we have five stick. Well, actually, no, we don't. We have, yeah, we do. We have five sticks. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my scissors on one of these rags, and I'm going to get... <laughs> Nope, get the scissors out. Pull your scissors out. Sometimes it won't do it automatically. So switch the scissors and cut. And I'm going to make a rope out of these rags so I don't have to bother cutting more sticks down to make rope. And there's five. One, two, three, four, five. Improvised rope. And see, guys, if you actually hit tab, um, you can actually see once this actually it goes back to the way it was if you hit tab you can see that there's lock slots here you can actually lock up these garages and have it as a little base and you can put a lock protection on it which is pretty cool so those are some things you can do for a little uh quick base a little lock up now there's that that one two three four five one two three and we're gonna do improvised quiver. And this will give us a couple extra slots for inventory, equip, and look at that. So now we can put our bow, our crossbow bolts where they need to go. And now we have some more space. Super nice, right? And let's go to the other garage really quick before we head in there to pick a couple more locks. See if we can get some more screwdrivers. New. Okay. And there's potential for food in here. What's in here? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we've encountered our first pistol. There's a backpack. Bada boom, bada bing. Now we can pick everything we want. Take it all out. Boom, look at that shit. Cut it up into rags. Actually, I'm gonna use a scissor, yeah. Then it'll let people know nobody was here and you can get the rags from it, of course. Always, always, always repurpose your stuff. And there's um, some bullets for our rifle here. 
And if we could get this holster fixed with a thread, we could have the holster usable. To fit our gun in it so that was very very useful coming in here man i'll tell you what wow nice okay this is this is a little town here is very useful man you can get some good stuff uh quickly we're pretty kitted up now i i know this is obviously a higher loot server but in my experience realistically it's really not this they didn't put the they didn't put the multiplier up too high on this i don't think i have usually had better success with the bottom ones actually finding some good stuff so let's go ahead and do this we have four more screwdrivers so we're going to take the picks out or the pins out like so and you can get these crafted in here obviously like inside the you know safety pins or lock picks right here and you can hit craft but once you've played the game enough you kind of like to do things on the on the manual at least i do uh because i just find it quicker sometimes instead of scrolling and searching for things and i'm gonna try and pick again there that one no problem and look at that some bullets let's try and see what's here basically if you're getting resistance in one direction you go the opposite you know and m9 mag okay and i see i got my muscle memory back all good to go so see guys this is zero problems picking locks with no skill you just got to make the mouse go far enough over and i got that one so you might want to adjust your mouse sensitivity for lock picking um and you can do that in the oh mma gloves those are cool they're bright i'm gonna wear them screw it we cool we're gonna wear them um you can do that in the options here and you can go to controls or excuse me mouse and then mouse sensitivity for lock picking, 100%. I put it all the way up to 100 personally, and that's what I use. So I would recommend you guys do the same. Also, a couple other good settings you could adjust on here, guys, is the field of view. I would recommend you have your field of view as high as you can go, because as we shrink this, okay, it's harder to see things in our peripheral. But as you make it go higher up, you can see more on your screen, and that's really handy um i also turn my camera bobbing down because it's kind of too much sometimes and those are a couple settings i like to do to make my game work a lot better i'll eventually probably go through some settings with you guys on some other things but that's a quick one for you just to get right out of the gate so guys that is that and now how we can consolidate some things is this nine millimeter mag we're gonna go ahead and take this in our hands and if you press since we have nine millimeter bullets we're gonna press the R key, and then that's gonna load us our mag up here automatically. Or you can click and drag the item over on top and do it that way. And what that's gonna do is free up one of our inventory slots. And uh, we need a block 21 mag for that, so too bad we couldn't find that, but no big deal, nothing to worry about. But that is, you know, this is a great way to get geared up, get started. Uh, these little towns like coastal towns like this and again, we're in a three uh, There's a bunker in this sector. There's also a couple of these areas up here that we can explore uh, And we can always venture over to a two uh, Or back to a four, but there's the you know, the naval base is in a four, which is you know, pretty awesome spot, too So we may resume this uh, character here um, Actually, I like these gloves. I'm gonna wear these Yeah yeah, we'll do that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, we may resume this guide with this character on another video. Um, if this has been helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would super appreciate it. It helps get this out to more scum fans. Helps people be able to uh, enjoy the game more, learn about it, and get, you know, very handy tips and tricks and helps the community. And so I appreciate you guys for sticking with me here.
And um, definitely make sure you hit like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. And remember, be alpha.